the largest impact crater in the United States, buried for 35 million years, and it's the world's 15th biggest in Chesapeake Bay. At the bay, just at the bottom of Delaware. The image shows it will be right in between Virginia and Delaware. The central crater, the annual trough. The asteroid struck the east coast of North America 35 million years ago and caused ejection. This is on phys.org. Researchers say the largest impact crater in the United States, buried for 35 million years. This is by the state of Arizona, Arizona State University. 35 million years ago, an asteroid hit the ocean off the east coast of North America. We had another one that hit, of course, 66, 64 million years ago. That was just uh, a little bit more south in the Yucatan Peninsula. And they said that that was the asteroid that caused the dinosaur extinction and a very, very mass extinction worldwide of plants and animal life. Now, 35 million years ago, the asteroid hit the ocean off the coast of North America, impact. The impact formed a 25 mile diameter crater. It now lies buried beneath Chesapeake Bay, an estuary in Virginia and Maryland. Now from this impact, the nearby area experienced fires, earthquakes, falling molten glass droplets, an air blast, and a devastating tsunami as well. While the resulting Chesapeake Bay impact crater is now completely buried, it was discovered in the early 1990s by scientific drilling. It now ranks as the largest known crater, impact crater in the U.S. and the 15th largest on Earth. When this asteroid hit, it also produced an impact ejecta layer, which includes tectites, which are natural glass formed from debris during meteorite impacts from the shock from the heat, the shocking zircon crystals. The shocked zircon crystals were thrown out of the impact area. Scientists refer to this layer as the North American tectite strewn field, which contains and covers a region of roughly 4 million square miles, about 10 miles the size, 10 times the size of Texas. Some ejecta landed on land, while the rest immediately cooled on contact with seawaters and then sank to the ocean floor. The team of researchers, including Arizona State University School of Earth and Space Exploration scientists and lead author Mark Byron, along with co-authors Joe Ann Warth, Wartho and Mathis Van Soet and Kip Hodges obtained drilling samples from the Ocean Drilling Project Site 1073 and then they dated these findings with the uranium thorium helium technique for the first time. This research was recently published in the International Journal Meteorics and Planetary Science. They say that they uh, determined accurate and precise ages of impact events. It was vital to understand the Earth's history. This is what Byron said. In recent years, he said, for example, the scientific community realized the importance of impact events on Earth's geological and biological history, including the 65 million year old dinosaur mass extinction event that's linked to the large Chicxulub impact crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. The team studied zircon crystals in particular because these crystals preserve evidence of shock metamorphism, which is caused by shock pressures and high temperatures associated with impact events. The dated crystals were tiny, but the thickness of a human hair. He said, key to our investigation were the zircon, or to be more precise, zirconium silicate crystals that we found in the oceanic sediments of a borehole, which is located almost 400 kilometers west, northeast, sorry, of the impact site, northeast, in the Atlantic Ocean. Co-author Wortho says, who began the study when she was lab manager at the Mass Spectrometry Lab at ASU. 
For the study, Byron worked with co-authors Wortho, now working at GeoMar, Helmholtz Center for Oceanic Research in Kiel. Van Solt and Hodges are prepared to, uh, to prepare samples for analysis and to date zircon crystals with the uranium thorium helium dating method. Byron then identified and processed shock zircon fragments from image for imaging and chemical analysis with the electron microscope. There, and Byron said the research as a tool for investigations in uh, dating terrestrial impact structures. He says our results demonstrate the uranium thorium helium dating methods viability for use in similar cases where shocked materials were ejected away from the crater and then allowed to cool quickly especially in cases where the sample size is small. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.